forest. It's who we are. And the very thing that on our ravishing but flagging planet, we need to keep green and living. So that we can continue growing from acorns into oak trees. Going forth from the white gates knowing that with our roots bonded together. We can place the necessary pressure on powers who pollute our precious air, who raise our sea levels beyond measure, their negligence carving holes in our atmosphere. Maybe we're scared of accepting our experts' endless exhortations, our scientists' desperate attestations. But, as Greta keeps proclaiming, the eyes of future generations are upon you, so engaging is our only option. Engaging with the steady upwards creep of every Celsius degree, the new 1.2C, the unprecedented heat, drunk up by our seas. We can clearly see how complicated these climate crisis complexities can be, so we cannot afford complacency. Commit to acting with critical urgency. Listen to the voices who have been warning us of what will, with utter certainty, befall our world in years, months, weeks. If we do not change collectively, if we do not change immediately, if we do not change instantly, if we do not change today,